Got vision and destiny. At elemental, that's chemistry. All those heroes, that's infinity. It's end game. That's- Yugi peoples, welcome to the commentary. All right, so I do believe this is my round two match in the double box tournament. And as you can see, we got the dual academy red and yellow sleeves with the dual academy deck box, which means it's time to get serious. Yeah, we own that Omni Hero. I open up my starting hand and, you know, it looks okay. Not the best. <laughs> and, you know, I think we're just going to be kind of going off of the luck of protagonist powers here after getting ashed on my Stratos play. So, yeah, that leaves us with this Stratos and Polly that we opened up in our hand, which means we're going to go with the luck of the draw and throw out our graceful charity and hope the best. Yeah, we opened up a, a what was it, Palmerization? Mass change, ash, and yeah, just not the <laughs> exact combination of cards you want to get. So, we're going to go ahead and grab our graceful charity activate that palmerization go straight into our l our sun our sunrise to go ahead and grab that miracle fusion then grab two cards and see if we can you know go ahead and get something rolling here we end up drawing into ferris without a hero to discard and we also have uh, what's the other card? We also have uh, used our normal summon. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to get that Ferris out there. We go ahead and throw away the Call by the Grave since he did use the Ash. We're going to Miracle Fusion here into our Infernal Rage using two different heroes with two different attributes. Go ahead and grab our favorite contact. And, yeah, I think, like, one of the better things I like about heroes now is that we do have we included infernal device off in here which is a way to search for a hero outside of our cross crusader play so that's going to allow me to search off the vanilla neos to give me a discard for our ferris so yeah we kind of took the long way around here but we are going to get there we're going to increase increase effect to send vion of course vion is going to allow us to send our denier i mean not our denier but to send our mali to the graveyard there and that will allow us to be able to get to our cross crusader so that we can add our denier and be able to make dpe so yeah we're gonna go ahead and summon out the cross crusader special summon a mally go grab the denier link those two guys off into wonder driver activate mally effect special summon mally go ahead and set this polymerization activate it go ahead and use those two to make our dpe and yeah it's pretty good because at least we do have our own at least we already have our mass change so we don't have to worry about trying to summon our shadow miss here the only thing that would kind of suck is if we get hit with the is if we get hit with the whatchamacallit the uh what's his name what's that guy's name oh nib yeah if he had ash nib this is this is pretty bad, but we go ahead and go this route. And we want to make sure that like uh we get our get a good recycle effect off of Wonder Driver, you know. And yeah, it's just go ahead and set that miracle fusion there. And then in the standby our yeah, he's going to activate the um uh, what is it wanted? So we're gonna go ahead and chain mass change to bring out our dark law here. And we're going to Dark Law Effect. And, yep, we end up hitting, uh, I believe, Turbulence. Sorry, this shop, I haven't uh, had a chance to, like, really, to really, like, find a good spot to um, record at. I just kind of sit at the table <laughs> that I can. And, yeah, as you can see, he's on Rescue Ace. There goes the, um, the what's his name? the uh the one that searches out the spell card the one that got put down to one but yeah as you can see his hand wasn't strong enough to be able to play through everything that i had and you know that's one of the things about heroes it's like sometimes you know the hands can be horrible getting drawn can be horrible but if you can kind of play through whatever it is that they have and at least set up you know one of your decent floodgates you know we're probably gonna win the game because Dark Law and Plasma are very powerful cards. Favorite Contact was just like a huge addition to the deck. And yeah, so 
Now going into uh, game two, we want to go ahead and I think like against this deck, I side out a lot of hand traps because I feel like a lot of times um, they're going to be able to play through them. That's just how, you know, all they want to do is get turbulence down to the board and, you know, set for back row. And that's usually enough to buy them another turn through um, uh, multiple hand traps. So what I wanted to do here was get in cards like Lightning Storm, Feather Duster, Evenly, and I went ahead and leave, I do leave Cross out in going second because still those turns, even if you do get the board breaker, something to just like stop them, they can still draw you and you can end up losing the game because you can't, you know, do too much with your deck. Or, you know, even like Thrust is one of the cards that, you know, we kind of like really rely on going second now because, you know, it definitely allows you to search Fusion Destiny. And we know that's one card, DPE Plasma. But, you know, if you get hand trapped from the beginning with a droll, it uh, doesn't do too much. So, yeah, as you can see, my opponent opens up, you know, pretty decently for Rescue Ace. He's got the four back row and uh yeah he go ahead and gets to what it is he wants to get to he's gonna be able to prospy here for six and fortunate eh, there goes the draw like i said one of the cards you don't want to see because it can kind of uh end your turn i was looking to see if he was going to get the solemn j there but you know droll is pretty much just as good except you know like i said i am on cross out designator so we are going to have that for the draw. I believe I saw that in my opening hand, so it should be fine. So he's going to go make the SP Little Knight, rescue his turbulence, and yeah, go into my turn. And my hand is very, very, very good. Pretty solid here. We are going to proceed into the turn, try to enter the battle phase. And that's why you're going to see him start activating cards here. He doesn't want his cars to get um, to, you know, be gone too, too much. And there goes the SP Little Knight chain emergency. Banish those two. Send the preventer. And deciding what else he should banish. But it gets all those guys off the board. Probably uses a uh, contain or the other trap. Then the preventer is going to trigger to special summon back out the hydrant there, I do believe. And no, is it hydrant? Mm, yes, maybe. Yeah, it was hydrant. So we're going to go ahead and activate a hero lives there. It gets ashed once again. Yeah, he's got that ash stuck to his hand, but because of the way my draw and stuff is i could not go um i couldn't activate the cross out on that because i know that he has the draw in hand so now i'm trying to decide what's the best player action we're going to go ahead and talents to draw two we end up uh he goes cross out i mean he goes draw we're gonna cross it out and yeah we draw into a second a hero lives here so we're going to a hero lives here because I couldn't just normal summon the Vion because that would have got me hit with this card right here. And then I wouldn't have been able to do anything with the Vion. So after we a hero lives a second time for Stratos, we're able to send the Vion. Now we can get rolling. He's only got one card left in hand. And yeah, we should have been in a very good position to win this game, but I'm actually going to throw this match and or throw this game right here. And I'm just to show y'all why I got, um, I guess you couldn't necessarily say that I got a uh, one sided or overexcited about it, but I do end up making a play mistake and our hand was just so good. There is no way we should have lost this, but yeah, here goes our play into our sunrise sunrise effect to go ahead and add that miracle fusion from our deck to our hand uh we didn't draw a way to get to dpe which is you know a little unfortunate but it is what it is we also luckily draw into mally also like i don't know we were just like extremely lucky here as you can see we go ahead and grab the denier after the cross crusader and trying to decide what other route i can take here go ahead and miracle fusion and um, go ahead and make our infernal rage even though we sided out the favorite contact 
but you know just to make sure that i didn't leave it in i go ahead and search for it you know sometimes i side out going second depending on what the matchup is and rescue ace is one of those decks where i don't feel like um it should be left in but we did it anyway because we need to uh i didn't want to race my absolute zero so now we're going to be able to link those two off into wonder driver summon out our the our um mally Palmerization, the Mali and Denier to make our boy DPE now. And, you know, come to think of it, like, if we had arrived to this position earlier and if we had favorite contact inside of the deck, we probably would have ended up winning this. Um, just checking his graveyard to see what he has down there. We're going to go ahead and activate Thrust. And there weren't too many cards that I could add here. We go ahead and add the Imperm. Should give us a chance to um, to pop something, get rid of it. I mean, not pop something, but to go ahead and um, use his effect, use the use the effect of infinite impermanence to negate the effects of one of his monsters. Uh, we go ahead and proceed to end phase. Allow the SP Little Knight to resolve. We're gonna activate DPE, pop the Little Knight, and here's where I messed up because I forgot that the Turbulence was going to destroy my car when one of his cars gets destroyed. And not gonna lie, this is like the second or third time that I've lost to this effect, just not just not completely thinking. So yeah. That's why I said, you know, a little bit ago, even after the powerful, you know, hand and board and everything that I was able to set up, I ended up throwing the match because I did indeed do that right there. I was just too focused on the little night and yeah, we're forced to use out our DPE here. Not going to forget about turbulence this time, but his hand is just like already like way too powerful and strong. So yeah, I'm just not going to be able to do anything to stop that match there unfortunately uh, yeah it is what it is so we end up throwing that but at least it was a game two match but you know always remember you know it's probably even if you already know what all the cars do take a second look at them make sure that you know you you understand everything that's going to happen when you start popping their cards and stuff like that so yeah now going first this turn i think like the, the main thing i do is i leave in like one of each hand trap except for droll droll i typically tend to leave in two of those so that you know in case i do draw one i can still cross it out but the other ones i tend to not um i tend to not like leave in doubles of unless it's like good against the deck that i'm playing against so that i can add in like the thrust and stuff like that and against this deck there's one of those decks where you know like i said hand traps aren't necessarily the best thing so uh yeah we go with thrust and talents and stuff like that instead i have to start my turn off with fusion destiny and i do have the cross out in hand so yeah i was pretty happy about that that way if things did just like completely go wrong here i would be able to cross out the ash because i didn't have any other starter in my hand but we're gonna go typical hero combo here we're going to start doing things with Denier and Mally. And we're basically, you know, doing the one card Fusion Destiny combo into our, um, into our, what's his name? Into our Plasma. And he's going to Phantasme here on Cross Crusader to, you know, get his Graceful Charity on. We're the ones that are supposed to be doing that. But we go ahead and add the Stratos there. Stratos into Plasma, of course. And this will be able to give us the three bodies that we need to go ahead and get this Plasma on the board. We are going to Thrust here before we decide to give that Phantasme the big suck. We're going to Talents and you know looking at his hand everything's like pretty monsterful and you know i wanted to see how impulse activated i believe it was but we're gonna go ahead and send back the emergency so that we don't get any surprises here like one of the things like you got to remember about emergency is that it can help them dodge dodge plasma because they can activate the effect and then quick play emergency and get off the board by, you know, sending it to special summon the other one. So that is something to keep in mind. So, yeah, you really don't want them having emergency. That's where the reason why I got ready emergency with a 
tactics talents because yeah he could like you know summon airlifter activate its effect chain emergency special summon something and then you know have gotten airlifter off the board and you know proceeded with the turn or whatever and stuff with the airlifter resolving so yeah that's the reason why we got rid of the emergency there so we know what's in his hand it's nothing too good He's going to a die bell star there. Um, unfortunately, none of the stuff that he has is strong enough to get over the plasma because of the attack increase of him being equipped with Phantasme, along with the attack decrease of his monsters with DPE. And as you can see, one of the things I tend to do is put them on opposite sides of the board because a lot of people tend to forget about DPE's uh, decrease effect because when they were all playing them, you know, the effect never really came into play or was never important. You know, it might decrease by 400, but, you know, with heroes, typically it's at least, you know, like 800 to 1000 if you have to do like the fusion destiny combo and stuff or whatever. But, yep. So we end up winning the die roll, taking this match against Rescue Ace, which I feel feel like i really should have won that game too if i just you know uh popped the turbulence at the end of that turn instead of the uh sp little knight so yeah we ended up throwing that match but it's all good we get the victory there in round two and appreciate everybody for staying a while to listen and i will catch y'all on the next video my wingman he come through he level up he go to he's shining out and popping to over 9k that's a breakthrough be on top now here's a look at our world